uh, compete on Saturday. Send Chris, your guys' three-point defense has been very good all year. Florida had a streak of 850 straight games with a three. They didn't have one tonight. Did you guys know about that streak coming in? How good does it feel to end it? No, we didn't know, we didn't know anything about it. You know, it's good to, it's good to, uh, to end it, but, you know, we, we didn't know anything about it. We just come in and, you know, we know how we guard. You know, we know we get after it, and, you know, at the beginning of the half we did it, and, you know, towards the middle of the first half we didn't do it. We, we, we got relaxed, and, you know, they started attacking us, and coming out of the second half we, we, we settled in and started back guarding. Is everything this team does in terms of defending the three, I mean, is, is, does it go back to the same thing you guys do in terms of ball pressure and everything else in your, in your defense at large? Uh, it's not defending the three, it's defending the ball. You know, uh, whoever got the ball, you know, you, you're pressuring the ball. You know, it's hard to score when, you, when you're getting pressured. It's hard to shoot a three ball when somebody's right there on you. you know, so it's hard to drive and kick if the man uh, that's guarding the ball is guarding the ball. You know, so um, <clears throat> it's, it's all on the man that's guarding the ball. You know, we, we try to focus on guarding the ball, you know, guarding, guarding the way coach wants us to guard, and, you know, that's, that's what we focus on. Chris, do you think this creates any extra momentum for you guys going into this weekend, or is this just, a, just another game? I mean, like, <clears throat> like Sin said, we're just going to prepare the same way you do every day. We come in focus, and for eight, uh, every each team, we're just going to come and get ready to play and get ready for the next game. That's it. Chris, obviously you had the little foul trouble and sat out most of the half. Uh, what was your mindset coming out of there in, in the second half? I know you had a pretty good start to the half. Uh, you just come in and play smart, like not stupid foul. Like just try to stay in the game and feel. I, I mean, every time I stay in the game, the longer I feel, I get the feel of the game and keep playing well. So not stupid foul, that was in my head. Uh, for both you guys, now 3-0 and against top 25 competition. For the goals that you've stated, tournament, 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 how important is it to play this well against these teams that you know are invited to march, and how does it help you guys feel as you approach that goal? Uh, it's big, you know, um, but, the, but the, the, the big games aren't the games that, that's killed us in the past. You know, the, 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 the bad games are the ones that killed us. The, the teams that's not as good and, and you know, that has, that's not doing as well are the teams that, that, that's been killing us lately. So, you know, we just try to focus and, you know, look at it as one, one day at a time, one game at a time. And, you know, don't let the moment get too big. You know, stay, stay balanced and, you know, just come in and focus. Sin, does a win like this show how far the program's come in your three and a half, four years here? Oh, definitely, big time. Uh, the, the win, the crowd, the, the attendance, everything shows. Um, you know, everybody believes in us and, you know, we got, we got good players and coach. You know, everybody's bought into coach system. You know, everybody. Um, as believe in coach and we believe in each other, and you know it just it just feels good to you know come in from where we me Dwayne and Justin came in from to to now and just feel like our hard work's finally paying off.